This video is brought to you by the generous people at ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks.com is your one-stop shop for upgrade sets for your Transformers collection, from your oldest pieces to the most recent releases. They also make upgrade sets for G.I. Joe, figure display backgrounds, and customizable weapons through the ToyHacks Armory. Viewers of this channel can get 15% off their next order using the promo code on screen now. Or if you're watching at some point in the future, you can check the community tab on my YouTube channel. Thanks again to ToyHacks.com. Welcome back to Stick It. My name is Kit, and today we'll be taking a look at the Toy Hacks labels for Studio Series 55, Scavenger. This set contains 104 separately numbered stickers and costs $25. Here he is, the crown jewel of the Constructicons. This upgrade set takes Scavenger from his unremarkable, compromised to hell and back, nondescript red box of an alternate mode into a brilliant work of art, taking full advantage of his large, flat spaces and making use of various textures and transparencies to really pull off something special. Where to even begin on such a piece? I suppose the excavating arm is as good a place as any. It works for scrap metal, it should work for scavenger. The previously dull, flat gray plastic is given some of the most beautiful weathering of the whole team. From there, we make our way to the intricately detailed cab, giving fresh new life with the standard smoky windows and these amazingly brilliant white stripes and silver diamond plating, more of which is found on the errant larger panel on the opposite side. Finally, I suppose we must turn our attention to the massive, monolithic walls of Scavenger's body, where we're treated to brilliant white stripes, manufacturer logos, and other information. I really appreciate the use of transparent backing on all these labels to better help the user align them with the figure sculpting. As amazing as the alternate mode was, I think robot mode is where Scavenger truly shines, as everything that made the excavator brilliant is cranked up to 11. There's far more white detail added to this mode, from the stripes added to his wheel struts to the flex of detail added to bring out the sculpt on Scavenger's face and what I hesitantly say constitutes a torso, to the make-believe markings on his shoulders and biceps mimicking the ones found on the excavator's exterior. This cluster of stickers here on Scavenger's forearms were kind of daunting to apply, as they're all very small and intricate, but I couldn't help but admire them as I was undergoing the process of applying them. Besides maybe Overload, Scavenger took me the longest out of all the Constructicons to apply his stickers, but I also found his process in particular to be the most enjoyable and memorable. In addition to all this, there's also some quality of life improvements, such as filling in the gap of missing color on both of his wheel rims and covering up some unsightly pins. And this isn't even getting into all the stuff added solely for the combined mode. To lay my position out bare, I must say that if for some reason you're able to purchase a sticker sheet for only one of your Constructicons, make it Scavenger. There is not a single doubt that this upgrade set is everything you could ask for in a product like this. It adds so much visual flair to the base figure and fills out its price point a lot better than most others, such that it turns Scavenger into inarguably the most beautiful of the bunch. Now just because we've reached the pinnacle of the individual Constructicons doesn't mean that we're done with this little adventure. We still have a ways to go, so stick around for the next Stick It. This has been Kit Catastrophe. Transform and roll out. <laughs> 